Welcome to the June 2011 update from the Nicholas School in Michele, Ethiopia. Let's take a look at what's happening in the classroom. We are continuing our work to upgrade the English language skills of the teachers and the children at the school. This month we are fortunate to have a young student from the UK spending five weeks at the school. She is qualified in teaching English as a foreign language and is very much appreciated by the school staff for the positive impact she is making. She is also teaching the teachers how to use Lego effectively as an educational material for the children. We continue to need additional Lego and Duplo to enable each child to learn important skills of logic, planning and spatial awareness. If you have any unwanted Lego or Duplo which you can make available in the Zurich or London areas, please contact us at the email address shown at the end of this video. The kindergarten eating room is making good progress again after delays caused by a recent shortage of cement. The walls and flooring are almost complete and the roof is now under construction. Just a few meters away from the primary school, we have started the first construction work at the high school. The perimeter fence is progressing rapidly and it is being built using only local stone. This is bonded using traditional methods involving a special soil and straw mixture and results in a very cost-effective yet strong and durable structure which also provides local employment. Finally, we want to show you the progress being made by some children in grade 6 who are keen to learn a musical instrument. One of our supporters kindly donated a clarinet which was no longer needed by her family. We have been able to find a local teacher who has very rapidly been able to get them learning how to play it. This is just the first step. We plan to build up an entire school band and when the music room is completed later this year we will have a great facility for teaching music. Thanks for watching and please remember to visit our website at www.rainbowsforchildren.org